19 seasons of 19 different women taking on the titular role, The Bachelorette has seen a lengthy history of adored stars. Fans from around the globe declare their favorites each year, and with its latter season wrapped up in early fall, the world put their restarted debates about who they hope the next Bachelorette can live up to to rest. I'm your host Michaela. let's jump right in. Which Bachelorette's journey have you been following since they start on the show? Let me know in the comments below. Taking our 10th spot is Hannah Brown. Hannah was a star of The Bachelorette's 15th season and was an addition to The Bachelor's 23rd season. In the first round of the franchise, Hannah was listed as a random pick who didn't seem very memorable. However, she later made a name for herself and proved her worth in her second attempt, and now holds the title of the most popular Bachelorette on Instagram, having amassed a massive 2.6 million following. Hannah started off as this soft spoken and self doubter who wasn't quite secure in herself, but audiences quickly rallied around the humble model as she flourished before fans' eyes in her season. She went toe to toe with men who treated her unfairly and challenged a toxic environment created by a few of her suitors. And although her choice of engaging Jed Wyatt didn't pull through in the end, watching her confront her life struggles and in turn transition into an independently strong woman who didn't need the validation of a male counterpart was inspirational. Since filming rap for Hannah, the reality star has spent the majority of her days with her family, giving updates on her post bachelorette life here and there. Like today's Where Are They Now if you're a fan of The Bachelorette. Taking our ninth spot is season 12's Jojo Fletcher. Jojo is one of the most beloved stars of the show in all its history. Her 2.5 million followers on Instagram are only the slightest proof, placing Jojo right behind Hannah as the most followed contestant on social media. Jojo saw steady popularity when she finished the finale in second place on The Bachelor's 20th season with Ben Higgins. However, her own journey on The Bachelorette was fairytale like. With Ben's ultimate choice of Lauren Bushnell, Jojo was able to move on and did. Jordan Davis was the first to introduce himself to the star during her season, and he was her clear favorite throughout their season, even receiving her impression rose. And while other seasons saw a messier and more dramatic twist, fans adored Jojo's genuine connection with Jordan. The two are still together and happily engaged nowadays, and supporters continue to keep tabs on them from their news shows Engage with Jojo and Jordan and Cashpad. Taking our 8th spot is Desiree Siegfried from Season 9. The ninth run of The Bachelorette was regarded as one of the best in the reality series' history, and Desiree lent a huge hand to the statement. After her original appearance in The Bachelor's 17th season, she gained instant empathy from viewers when she was selected to be the next Bachelorette. Supporters rallied behind Desiree when she got her heart torn apart in the last portion of the season, once Brooke Forrester, her top choice, chose to leave the show. While she was experiencing heartbreak at the time, she later accepted her now husband Chris's proposal, and well, I'm sure you get the gist. The two went on to have two children, and following the world's support for her to find happiness after such a low time in her life, watching Desiree thrive through recovery and love has dubbed her as a legendary contestant. Taking our 7th spot is Becca Krufrin. Becca was the star of the 14th Bachelorette season. Becca is another featured female on the show who got sniped in her first shot at love and was able to receive her redemption later on. The reality star won the 22nd season of The Bachelor, but in a cruel twist, The Bachelor retracted his proposal in a change of heart in what has been classed as one of the cringiest moments in the franchise yet. Becca received the opportunity to get her dream proposal the next time around, where she eventually got engaged to Garrett and lived with him for two years. In the end, though, they called it quits. This didn't stop Becca from remaining a constant present in the Bachelor Nation community, where she serves as a Bachelor happy our podcast host, along with season 18 contender Michelle Young. On top of this, Becca has been engaged with Thomas Jacob twice now, with the most recent announcement flooding reports Tuesday morning. The duo took to their social media pages to collectively express their absolute love for each other, and the whole ordeal was sickingly sweet. Taking our sixth spot is season 8's Emily Maynard. Emily has been known as one of the Bachelorettes with the most intriguing journeys of any other who've appeared in the Bachelor Nation franchise thus far. Like Becca, she got engaged twice, and both happened in the franchise as well. Initially, she accepted the proposal of Brad Womack on season 15 of The Bachelor, but after their romance fizzled, she received her second chance as the bachelorette of her season. Viewers at home instantly loved how dedicated she was to her children and how determined she was to ensure to all her suitors that they were a package deal. As one of the only women on the show who appeared to have children prior to entering, many fans found this commendable of Emily to set her priorities straight before the show and remain consistent in sticking to them. It was Emily who made the filming move so that she was in close quarters of her children, and because of her sad back story of being a widower, searching for new love, Emily was able to earn tons of sympathy and was well liked for her attitude in general. However, in 2020, the former Bachelorette star was clinically diagnosed with facial palsy. The mom of five opened up about how she discovered the rare condition while carrying her latest child. The news was updated on Emily's Instagram stories and was included in her 2020 recap. Taking our fifth spot is Andy Dorfman. Andy was a star of The Bachelorette's 10th season and was present in the 18th season of The Bachelor when she made her B Nation debut that year. For the latter, Andy chose 
chose to give up during week 9 when she realized her show relationship did not stand a chance. Still, she gave Love another try on The Bachelorette and scored a solid unwavering spot in viewers hearts globally. Andy was known to be very headstrong, never missing an opportunity to stand up for herself and tell people how it was in her iconically hysterical way. She served as an endless supply of entertainment and gave audiences one of the most iconic Bachelorette scenes to exist when she cut Nick off in the finale. Since then, Andy has taken the time to readjust her life into one that's physically positive by remaining fit and healthy. In June 2020, the former reality star relocated from New York to California. In light of the transition, Andy told US Weekly, I have definitely become a beach girl. I make a concerted effort to go watch the sunset a few days a week, have a glass of wine, and take a moment to feel fortunate and grateful for the view and for my life. Taking our fourth spot is Deanna Papas from season 4. Deanna gained infamy in the 11th season of The Bachelor after her rejection from Brad Womack in the final, before she took the reins on her own Bachelorette season. Deanna was handed a rather daunting task at the time to oversee the revival of the show after a lengthy 3 year hiatus. This responsibility Deanna was entrusted with surely was no easy task, but fans were already rooting for the reality star at that point and she seemed to play her cards right because the show still successfully runs on the air today. Eventually, Deanna got her redemption and received her awaited proposal from Jesse Singsack. Despite their engagement being extremely short-lived, fans watching her bring the then-dying series back to life gained her numerous supporters. Once the camera stopped rolling, Deanna was able to find her happily ever after. The reality star tied the knot with Steven Stagliano back in 2011 and they shared two children named Addison and Austin. To keep herself busy, Deanna maintains her web show Moms in Cars as well as her blog. Taking our third spot is Ali Fedotowski. Ali was the star of The Bachelorette for its sixth season, but it seems that prior to this, she was dealt a rather bad hand when she first appeared in The Bachelor for its 14th season. She initially tried to be compatible with Jake Pavelka, who was known to be controversial given his rude display of behavior and pulling off one of the most major betrayals in the show's history. However, Ali was later forced to drop out of week six because of her career. Her second chance was made the most out of though, as she was an integral portion of every memorable moment on the show and seemed to be thoroughly enjoying her Bachelor position. In the end, Ali did not wound up marrying anyone from her season, but she does remain one of the most exemplary bachelorettes from the very start of her journey. Thankfully, Ali was able to eventually find love with TV and radio host Kevin Mano. Not only did they stand the test of time down the aisle, but then they went on to conceive two children named Molly and Riley. Additionally, the couple relocated to Nashville, where Ali continues to pursue her blogger and media personality career. Taking our second spot is Season 5's Jillian Harris. This Canadian reality star owns the position of being the first ever non-American top biller of the franchise. Jillian was the full package too it seemed, as she had a lovable TV personality that landed her a loyally solid fan base. Originally, Jillian appeared on The Bachelorette's 13th season prior to her reprise, but the bachelor she ended up with after her run, Ed Swiderski, only stuck around for a year following the season's conclusion. Still, despite the split, Jillian's carefree and fun personality eventually resulted in her hosting Love It or List It Vancouver. Since her time on the show, she's been remarried and shares two kids with her new lover while she proceeds to pursue her passion in interior design. Taking our first spot is Trista Sutter. Trista was the chosen star of the very first Bachelorette season of the series. While the Bachelor Nation franchise has seen a fountain of spin off series since its start, the universe's very first upshot to get greenlighted was the female dominated Bachelor series. Alongside being the OG Bachelorette, Trista was also the Bachelor's runner up for their initial season, where she selected Ryan Sutter for her own season. As of today, the pair are still together and Trista has done a couple of appearances on shows like Dancing with the Stars, Marriage Boot Camp, and Fear Factor to name a few. Trista also serves as another role model for future bachelorettes to follow. Following a rather rough couple of years for Trista and Ryan, the reality star later provided fans with an update on how she's feeling regarding her future. After being together for a near 20 seemingly great years, Trista opened up about how her family was experiencing difficult times due to an unknown health issue her husband was struggling with. In 2020, Trista revealed that she and Ryan had been scouting answers to determine Ryan's illness, and despite the inability to receive a complete diagnosis, she stated the doctors had ruled out the possibility of cancer. That's been today's WATN. Thanks for watching, friends!